Greetings brethren, Hausberger Donkey here, and I have rebased, or finished rebasing, my Demon World Knights of the Order unit onto uh, 8 hex bases instead of 10, at 5 models per base, which is how they are going to work in the rules. And uh, I did say I was going to make a small, or I think... Because somebody asked in the comments what Demon World is, so I, I thought I'd make a, a little bit of a video uh, and talking about that. So, as you can see, they are based on hex bases and are then arranged in ranks. Um, this is the sort of standard setup for an 8 base unit. With 10 you'd have two more, of course. There are also some formation types where uh, you would then have the base here, another one here, and another one here to have sort of a a wedge formation. Um, monsters are usually on several hex bases glued together. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Also, basically, I, I used the uh, the Luke's APS stuff again for the bases. Uh, I was I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but I, I'm kind of glad I did because I think in the end it actually looks it looks pretty good. Um, I could have also gone with a bit more my usual sort of fantasy basing, but uh, I don't know. I think this looks okay. And uh, because of how the units are constructed in Demon World, where they're so close together, uh, there's not that much space to do stuff on the base. And uh, I think the, the few bits and pieces, like there's a, there's a big rock on this one, um, and there's some, some foamy bits, I think, on the flag. Yeah. Uh, some foamy bits, and I think that looks fine. Uh, oh, one other change I did is uh, I put some some thin black lines around the logo that I painted on the flag. I didn't, I hadn't done that previously. Um, this was sort of my first attempts of uh, just freehanding a simple uh, symbol on a flag in this sort of scale, and um, yeah, it, it looked a bit too flat, so. In the future, I'll definitely have to do more uh, more highlighting on that. But in this case, I just I just added some some black trim just to make it pop a little bit more, and I'm happy with it. Uh, this particular unit, by the way, is some of the oldest figures that exist from this range. Uh, I'm pretty sure these figures are from 90, 92 or ninety three. Not entirely sure, but they are definitely from the first um, sort of range that they made, uh, which was just Empire and Orcs um, for the game Demon World. And the starter box had uh, a, ba a unit of 40 Barbarians on 10 bases uh, for the Empire and a unit of uh, 32 Orc Guard on 8 bases and then some characters, I believe. So it was actually a very small uh, set of miniatures that you got in the starter set and then these were part of the first wave and you can kind of tell that on these uh, these very simple blocky flags that came with the first ones. The uh, the more modern ones, they have more elaborate um, flags and banners than these ones. Um, and that's why they kind of look uh, super chunky as well. Um, there is a new version of these figures that I do not have. They, they sort of redid this uh, these lines. Um, but this was in fact the first Demon World unit that I bought. I bought these when I was in a hobby shop uh, at, some time, at some point in the mid-90s. I, I saw a hobby shop that was carrying Demon World and uh, I fell in love with this game pretty much instantly because I thought, wow, it, it's basically Warhammer, but the figures are really, really small and that's that's kind of cute and awesome. Um, and there's so many figures in a, in a pack. Um, yeah, and so I, I bought these and I had never done anything with them. They were in the basement basically for 20 years, I think. And then uh, when I fell back in in love with this game a few years ago, I still haven't played um, around uh, since I fell back in, in love with it. I, I played a few when I was a when I was a kid, but yeah, haven't haven't played it again. But I um, I have started collecting a lot, and um, I, I wanted to do this unit first because I don't know, just out of sort of annoyance that I never actually painted them even though it was the first unit that I bought and yeah so here they are um, just gonna put them aside a little bit 
and talk a little bit about what Demon World is. Actually, let me see if I can move the camera a bit back a little bit. So this would be the um, army book for Empire in the uh, for the Demon World game. However, uh, this is in English language because um, when I bought all these books, they were put out by uh, Ralph Partha, who owns the figure line now, the actual company, uh, Hobby Products, is no more. And um, I don't know, they had all of the army books that I wanted in English and only a few in German, so I just bought them in English, uh, just for consistency's sake. And uh, if you know anything about old school 90s Warhammer, this image will look very familiar, and there's a reason for that, because Demon World is basically German Warhammer. That's entirely what that game was supposed to be, um, which isn't too uncommon for the 80s and 90s. The, a lot of products that, you know, hobby stuff that, that came out of England and, and the United States, um, German companies just tried to, to sort of piggyback off the success by just creating something that was very similar, but uh, one, legally distinct, and two, uh, maybe a bit more appropriate for a German market. And um, uh, one of these, one of the examples for that would of course be Dungeons & Dragons, which itself was never that popular in the 80s and 90s. What was way more popular was the Dark Eye, Das Schwarze Auge, which was the sort of German answer to Dungeons & Dragons. It was a Art-wise, it was a bit less um, American plastic fantasy, as I like to, to refer to it. Um, and it was a bit more sort of uh, um, leaning on, on Conan and more uh, sort of historical influences. So you'd have some, some sort of, um, you'd have some Landsknecht influences and some uh, Viking influences and that sort of stuff. So it was, it was a lot more uh, appealing uh, to the more European style of fantasy at the time. Um, and then, of course, in the 90s, uh, Warhammer started to become big uh, uh, in Germany, and the company uh, Hobby Products launched Demon World, uh, which visually was very, very similar. And the two first armies, Empire and Oryx, are pretty much a carbon copy. Uh, let me actually flip through some units. As I said, these particular ones that I have are the Knights of the Order. And, and in the book, you can see some more uh, of the updated uh, line of figures. Like you have the, the dwarf arquebusiers. Uh, you have the rolling fortress, which is, of course, very similar to the Empire War Wagon. Um, the cannons, and uh, you get some crossbowmen and uh, mounted lances. And longbow archers probably have more pictures in the back. And also how the book is laid out is very, very similar to 90s um, Warhammer army books, of course. Uh, you get some, some noble light cavalry, some foot soldiers, you got rangers, and crossbowmen, and then even sort of Kislevite looking horse archers. So it's, it's very reminiscent of what the sort of very early uh, empire armies would be. And this would be a sort of a battle scene and uh, as you can see, they're not just on hex bases for fun, it is actually played on a hex board. And that was another thing that they did uh, for the game, because rightly so, I believe, um, they thought that um, a game that is a bit more like a, like a board game uh, and not... Because Battletech was obviously also very, very popular in the 90s in Germany, um, and Games Workshop stuff at the time was still very complex rule-wise, but not very, not very gamey. It was very open-ended, and um, you'd have to make up your own rules to make stuff work some of the time, and um, the measuring was always felt to be very uh, 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 inaccurate, you know, so... Um, they thought this would appeal more to a German market. And, I mean, it did. This this was kind of a... It was a somewhat popular game in some regions of Germany for pff, 10 years, I want to say. I think the company folded in 2006 or 2007, something like that, and sold all the miniatures to Ralph Partha. Um, yeah, I think something like that. Uh, also, very cool old-school 
black and white artwork all throughout the book. Um, yeah, um, so I personally love this game, but it is mostly a love stemming from nostalgia, I will entirely admit. I think uh, rules-wise, the game is kind of dated, um, because basically when you meet in combat, uh, each base fights another base sort of on its own, and it's a, an opposed d20 role to determine a lot of the stuff. Um, yeah, there's... Um, I have played some games, as I said, way back, and I, I, I do know the rules, but... Um, it's a tough sell because it does feel, it, it, other than, uh, unlike Warhammer, which I think moved with the times quite a lot, I think this one does actually feel like an old game. Like, it feels like the sort of game that, uh, you know, that you would play in the 90s, um, where, yeah, I don't I don't know if that's still appropriate, you know, it, it's, I would kind of uh, compare it with uh, edition one or two of Warhammer Fantasy Battles, which is also very sort of dry and there's a lot of looking up stuff in in tables and sheets and some people love that but it's not really something for a quick two-hour game these games tend to take a while so yeah but it's it's still a game that i really love i love the the miniature line i think the miniature line is still uh, one of the best 15 mil figure lines that you can get for fantasy uh, and even if you don't want to play Demon World and you're just looking at other games, I would absolutely recommend them because they're also very cheap. Uh, the downside is, of course, that just like with these older figures, even in the newer ranges, you will only get about two different sculpts. So in this case, the two different sculpts are the one with the sword to the side and the one with the sword upright. Um, so it, it can look a bit samey across a unit, but... Um, I don't know, I, I think if you're gonna make big units, it's hard to beat the price, because for 40 figures from uh, Ralpartha, you're gonna spend uh, 16 pounds. And I think that is a solid price, uh, considering the times we are at. Also, I'm gonna give you a little scale comparison, because they are definitely big 15 millimeter figures, and they're very chunky. So compared to these ACW, Warlord figures, as you can see, bigger and definitely just very wide and, and uh, swollen. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to do more videos about um, Demon World over this year because um, I'm I, I, 2021, I think I definitely have the old school bug. Uh, so it's going to be old hammer, high elves and probably also some dwarves. Um, and then definitely also some Demon World, because I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really enjoying these. And just looking at this finished unit is giving me such nostalgic joy. Even if I'm never going to actually find someone to play a bunch of, the, a bunch of games with uh, of Demon World, I'll still enjoy just, just painting up an army of uh, Empire and maybe some uh, Ice Lords of Eastock. Yeah. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's, a, it's a game that's definitely near and dear to my heart. Uh, and I would love to get into it more, maybe someday. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely look forward to more videos. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Take care, bye-bye.